Hello everyone. Dr. Nandi Pamakutumana said that during her arrest in Tanzania, she was forcefully abducted and blindfolded. Before being taken to the airport, she made the claims in an application to the High Court in Bloemfontein seeking to have her arrest and detention declared wrongful and unlawful. Makutumana was arrested in April in Tanzania with her boyfriend Tabo Pesta, a convicted rapist and murderer who had escaped from prison. She has been in custody since. She said in her papers, Presently, I'm illegally detained at the Bizarre Market Correctional Center in Grunstadt by the fifth respondent. Makutumana is accused of having assisted Pesta to escape from Mangawung Correctional Facility after he staged a suicide in his single cell in May last year. In her court papers, she has cited the Free State Director of Public Prosecutions, the Minister of Police, a captain, the Flyman, the presiding magistrate of the criminal case, and the head of the Bizarre Market Correctional Center as the respondents. Minister of Home Affairs Dr. Aaron Mosalede on Monday stated his department wanted to join the proceedings as an interested party. He told the news conference that Makutumana was not unlawfully abducted or extracted from Tanzania. He said Dr. Nandi Pamakutumana and Tabo Pesta were declared prohibited immigrants in terms of the immigration laws of Tanzania and were therefore, as a matter of law, liable to be deported back to their country of origin. The same procedure was followed in respect of the Mozambican national who was in their company. Dr. Nandi Pamakutumana argues Tanzania is a sovereign country. He stated none of the respondents or more in particular. The second respondents, police minister or its employees have any jurisdiction or authority to arrest anyone there and or the authority to remove South Africans. She also laid out events that followed her arrest. According to her account, she was blindfolded, taken to the airport in Tanzania by members of the SA police service, where on arrival, she was met by two other SAPS members. They ordered me to get inside aircraft, where I found about four members of the South African Defense Force inside the airport. I then sat in the aircraft flanked by members of the second responders and the members of the Defense Force. According to her affidavit, they flew to SA and landed at Lancera Airport. From there, traveled to Bloemfontein Magistrates Court, where she made her first court appearance. She said the state must come to court with clean hands and such requirement is clearly not satisfied where the state is involved in the abduction of myself across the country's borders. As mentioned, the second respondent's servants minister of police had no jurisdiction or authority to arrest or bring me to South Africa and charge me as they did. I can with certainty say that I have not been found by any court in Tanzania to be an illegal migrant, nor have I been deported by such a court to South Africa. In any event, a warrant issued by a court in SA and that has to be executed in South Africa will not assist any of the respondents. It is the arrest and removal in Tanzania which according to my advice flows the whole process. Among other things, Makudumana wants the court to nullify and set aside the criminal proceedings before Bloemfontein Magistrate Court. She also wants the court to declare that she is entitled to be released from prison. Watch a check on those when people. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.